Barely two months into the new year, and new crime statistics are pointed to an increase in the number of people murdered when compared with the same period last year. According to data from the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, between January 1 and February 3, 156 persons were killed. That's 24 more murders when compared with the corresponding period in 2017. In the first three days of 2018, there were 15 homicides. The data also showed that since the state of emergency, St. James recorded 21 shootings and 12 murders. The St. Catherine North Division has so far recorded the most murders since the start of the year, 22. Clarendon, 18, and South, uh, St. Andrew South, 15. Meanwhile, a British criminologist is insisting that the government use a different approach to tackle crime in the country. He argues that over the years, the authorities have used a method which sought to put plaster on deep wounds rather than addressing the root of the problem. He also called for the private sector to assist in building a better Jamaica. TVJ's Anthony Lugg reports. Over 100 murders in the space of, what, three, four weeks? That means healing needs to take place before any intervention. British criminologist Craig Pinkney speaking on building personal and community competences for peace at the Ministry of Justice's head office on Tuesday. Mr. Pinkney, who has conducted research on crime worldwide, says while there is no quick fix to Jamaica's crime problem, the government must start looking at the grassroots of the crime situation. So when we look at violence and we look at the issues and why we're in a state of emergency, we have to just rewind sometimes and say, well, what's going on here? What's going on in our community? What's going on in family that's causing our children in community to be socialized a particular way? Children don't wake up one morning saying, I want to kill. Children don't wake up one morning saying, I want to cut a man's throat, a woman's throat, and a child's throat. People don't wake up in the morning thinking like that. So that means something's happened in the socialization of these individuals, whether it be education, community, family. And even with the state of emergency declared in St. James, he believes that if social issues aren't addressed, the crime situation will resurface. Crime has a pattern. Violence spreads like a disease. It's contagious. You shot my brother, my cousin wants to shoot you now. You shoot my cousin, his brother now wants to shoot you back. You rape my sister, I want to kill you. And that becomes the violence and it all happens in one space, one community. But that's not all. In recent times, some have argued that the private sector have not done enough to assist residents in some troubled communities. The British criminologist agrees. Until corporate companies invest into the Jamaican people, we ain't going to see much change. So unfortunately, even though all of the models that we're coming with, like restorative justice, it works. But it only works when the foundation is laid straight. That's why he's imploring the government to take a public health response in dealing with crime in the island. Number one, what is the cause of the problem? Number two, what are the real causes? So it's the causes beyond causes. Number three, ensuring that there's policy to back up whatever implementation is then to go out. And in the last stage, how does it work? How does it, impl how does it implement? So we can't do it backwards. Anthony Logg, 